we have 688 divided by 32. And to help us, let's write out our 32 times table. So if we start by taking the first two digits together, how can we work out 68 divided by 32? We'll notice that 2 times 32 is 64, so we can write 64 below our 68, and that's 2 times 32, so we can write 2 in our answer. Now, 68 minus 64 is 4, and we can bring down our 8, so we have 48 divided by 32. That's larger than 32, but smaller than 64. So we can write 32 below the 48, and that's 1 times 32, so we can write 1 in our answer. Now, 48 minus 32 is 16, but it seems like we have nothing left to bring down. But what we can do here is extend the place values in the question with a point zero, because 688.0 is the same as 688. We haven't changed the question. So now, because there's a decimal point in the question, we need to copy up the decimal point into our answer. And now we have another digit, we have a zero, that we can bring down. So now, we can work out 160 divided by 32. That's exactly 5, so we have 5 in our answer, and then we don't have anything else to divide. So now pause the video and try 845 divided by 26. So we'll need our 26 times table, if we start with 84 divided by 26, we can see that 3 times 26 is 78. So we can write 78 under the 84 and write 3 in our answer. Now 84 minus 78 is 6 and we can bring down the 5 so that we can work out 65 divided by 26. We can see that 2 times 26 is 52, so we can write 52 under our 65 and 2 in our answer. But now, 65 minus 52 is 13, but we don't have anything else to bring down. But we can extend our dividend with a point zero, copy the decimal point up into our answer and bring down the zero. So now, we can see that 130 divided by 26 is exactly 5. So we can write 5 in our answer, and then because we don't have anything left to divide, our answer is 32.5.